Chuamina. What's up? I'm Ariana Everton, your host and cooking all nets on for today's episode of Slice of Life. Ah. So for today's segment of Gamer Gourmet, we will be making our own little version of sinasang, which is a fried rice. It's made so many different ways across the world, but today we'll be doing it my way. So this one is gonna have a little of that, you know, smoky, salty sweetness because we've got some literally yummy hot dogs right here to add to our dish. It's just gonna give it that pop of flavor that you guys want when you eat a really good like fried rice or chaat. So today we will be making a hot dog fried rice. Ta-da! For our ingredients, we have the most important thing, our rice. You can't make a fried rice without a rice. Secondly would be our yummy hot dogs that will serve as our meat. We've got a bunch of veggies. We've got some uh, green onions, peas, we got carrots. I also have some garlic, of course, some eggs to add to the fried rice. And what's great about a fried rice is that you can pretty much add anything you want to it. So I have some leftover like omelet that I've chopped up and a bit of sesame oil, soy sauce, a little salt, pepper, and oil. And that's pretty much it to make a pretty dang good fried rice. So let's go. Yummy Hot Dogs is actually a partnership between Johnsonville Sausages of the USA and for Bell Philippines. So thank you very much. We are ready to go and cook our hot dog fried rice with these amazing ingredients. So I like to start by having a pan or a wok ready, whatever you have, and we can start. To start, we'll be adding a little bit of cooking oil to our pan so that we get the base covered and make sure it gets nice and hot. We'll be adding our garlic in first so that we can get that nice fragrant smell. Ooh, I love that. So we're gonna let that cook a little bit and then we'll be adding in some green onions. So once the garlic starts to get fragrant, you can actually add in your green onions already. So with these measurements, you don't have to be too exact, just you know, Feel the flavor coming together. So after a while, you will see the green onions become nice and soft. And once that is done cooking, you can pretty much go in and add the rest of your vegetables. Next up, we'll be adding our two vegetables. These are the peas and the, the carrots. So you'll know it's done when the peas are softened, especially if you've used frozen peas. We will just wait a bit for that. So when it comes to making a fried rice, since that is what we're going to be adding in next, it's always best to use day-old cooked rice. But if you don't have any, that's totally fine. You can stick it in the fridge and wait for it to kind of dry up so it has that dry, uh, like, overnight texture. And that's really the best thing to do with fried rice. So we're going to be adding it in right into our pan. I'm not going to put too much. And then we are going to create a well in the middle of our pan and stick in our eggs. I like to use three eggs or you can actually do two eggs and one yolk. We're going to do that right in there. And we can actually kind of give it a little light whisk in there. So here I'm just using one yolk, whisking it a little and adding it to the rice. Right. Give it that golden flavor and the appearance. Now I'm going to be adding my leftover eggs to this as well for a little bit more texture. And of course, the star of our show, our yummy hot dogs will be put right in there. I made them big so that you can really taste every bite of the hot dog. And I'm loving how this looks. The colors all mixed together make it look super delicious. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of soy sauce for the saltiness, just a little. I'm gonna make sure to season it real quick. A bit of salt and some pepper. And the last thing we add is some sesame oil. This will make it really nice and fragrant. We usually add this at the end because if you cook it in the beginning, you pretty much lose all of the smell and taste. So this is like its crowning glory. Our fried rice is pretty much done cooking now, and you know what's next? It's time to plate it and eat it. Tasting time. Mm. 
Okay, okay. I see you. I'm going in for one more bite. <laughs> Just to make sure. Mm. Oh wow, I am obsessed. If that ain't a dang good hot dog fried rice, if I don't say so myself, that hot dog just gives a really nice, juicy, like meaty burst of flavor when it pairs with the rest of the rice. Personally, I really like the taste. It's really nice and meaty and got that smoky flavor. And that's probably because it's made with imported meats and 10 different spices. So you really have that nice, natural, yummy, savory flavor. A hot dog fried rice is good when you move it in the light and you see that it's glistening, glowing, and shining. And just saying, yes, eat me. And that is exactly what we achieved here with this dish. You guys have to try this because if not, you are really missing out. All you need to do is really get the star of the show here, which are the yummy hot dogs. And if you are thinking about getting them and trying this recipe, then you can go to your nearest supermarket, check out their chillers or their freezers, and grab yourself your own. So thank you so much, by the way, to Yummy Hot Dogs for making this video happen. It wouldn't be possible without them, and it wouldn't be possible to make this good of a dish without them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had so much fun making it because this is uh, such you know high in protein. It's really giving me that good energy and keeping me full longer so that I can continue gaming or binging anime or whatever it is longer. So I hope you guys enjoy that. If you want to see more recipes, then make sure to leave it in the comments down below. And if you want to see anything else, once again, it's me, your host, Ariana Epperson, and you're cooking on Nessan, and I will see you next time on Slice of Life. Da!